Hang on, my name is Xander, and this is my vlog. I'm going to be sharing with you my top three moments from the last episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, which features Shade, the musical, musical theater episode. Yes! Because it was the musical theater episode, I had so many moments that I loved, and I'm going to get a little serious, but first, I'm going to bring you my number three, and that is Gia Gunn not getting any references ever, including the joke that she's supposed to tell, like, oh, they're full of beans, literally. Beans, beans, the magical fruit, the... Okay, I'm not going to do the whole rhyme, but it's a fart joke, and she just didn't get it. This goes along with, like, gag me with the DeLorean and not knowing what that is. And then, and then, oh girl, in Untucked, she gets called ignorant, which she kind of is, and then says that that's the worst insult that could possibly happen. Girl, I'm sure that people have called you worse than ignorant because you're a little ignorant. No tea, no shade. Little tea, little shade. Like one of those little umbrellas that you get in a Long Island iced tea. <laughs> but a mini size, little tea, little sh okay. Moving on. My number two for this week is all that American Idol shade that was going on. Not only do we have Adore Delano who was on American Idol, we also have Courtney Act who was on Australian Idol. But the thing I liked about it was that they directly addressed the homophobia that comes out of American Idol. Yes, we have people like Adam Lambert, but they were oppressed about their homosexuality on a reality competition. And what's better than a gay on reality TV? Say nothing. That's the right answer to that question. And now my number one moment from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 6 Episode 4 is... Milk Pregnant! Yes, this is another time that Milk's final look has made my top list, but I wanted to talk about it specifically because I see a continuous theme in what Milk is doing, and I love it. I love these weird queens. I love it when they're artistic about it. And what Milk is doing is highlighting a part of the body every time. You see her to her opening look. She's got the gap between the teeth. Uh, then she had the beard on the chin. She's got the Pinocchio nose. And now she's got the pregnant belly. She's taking a body part and distorting it to proportions where it becomes super noticeable. And I think that's the artistic statement. I could be completely wrong. I could be looking too much into it. But I see what you're doing, girl. I see it. Now it's time for some viewer questiones. Make sure you tweet me at xanderific 2 rs one f and use the hashtag drag race so I know you're talking about drag race. Jared Baker, your drag name is Jar of Baker's Dozen. That means 13. You're welcome. It's Thursday. I'm as King of the Nerds. Where are Kayla, Xander, Brian, and the rest? Well, Muppets and Drag Race. I feel you, boo. I miss it too. My Thursdays are not the same. That almost was a poem. I should go into poetry. At least we got Drag Race. Bethany Newsom, your drag name is Beth Annie Tusom. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. I almost died when I saw that you watched RuPaul. Don't die! I need you alive to tweet me and ask questions. Also, it would be sad if you died. Don't do that, but also we'll watch RuPaul together, alive. John Amory, your drag name is Joe Ann Maury. You are not the father. DNA test. You're welcome. So for your recap, I'm gonna need you to pretty please sing one of your favorite lines from Shade the Rusical. When you love me! That's just the first thing that I remembered. Adore Delano! Shout out. That's all the time that I have for today. Make sure you catch RuPaul's Drag Race tonight. And if you're in the LA area, I'm gonna be at Mickey's West Hollywood on Santa Monica Boulevard. And I'm gonna be live tweeting, so make sure you're following me and we can talk together. And maybe I'll end up on next week's recap video. That's how it works. Okay. Good. Bye. And if you're in the LA area, you can get...